Hi, I'm Tom Lydon, editor of ETF Trends here in San Diego at the Schwab Impact Conference. And I'm here with Pierre Caramaza, who's head of wealth management distribution and ETF distribution at Franklin Templeton. Great seeing you, Pierre. Great seeing you, Tom. Well, it, Franklin Templeton, unbelievable brand. For decades, a lot of advisors have used your separate accounts and your mutual funds. Now you're in the ETF space. What was the decision making behind that? It was actually an easier decision than you'd think. Um, we've always felt that what we could offer is an investment process, an investment strategy, and the vehicle that we did it in didn't matter, right? We wanted to be vehicle agnostic. And so we've done mutual funds, done separate accounts, done separately managed accounts. We thought the ETS was the next big meeting. Yeah, and it's working. So you have a variety of strategies. So first, let's talk about your smart beta strategies. Sure, well, we thought there was a great opportunity for us. You look at all these capital-weighted market indices, they've been incredibly successful. They've been big, they've gathered a lot of assets, and we looked at that and we said, well, where can we fit in? And we thought, we can take a little bit of an active approach to this, which is be a little more strategic and be a little more nuanced about what factors we want to do. So what we did is we came out with a strategic allocation to different factors. We didn't do equal weighted. We chose to overweight some factors we thought were more successful. Um, and we did this in spaces we thought this space really worked, and that was for us, international, emerging markets, global, um, and believe it or not, in uh, sort of the U.S. global dividend space. Right, so multi-factor strategy, but you're also weighing those factors based on your expertise. Yeah. Right, okay. Now talk about active, because there are not a lot of active ETFs that are out there, and that's something that you're also embracing. Yeah, well, and we were, were stunned by the sort of lack of active adoption so far. And um, we looked at this and we said, well, you know, at our core, we're an investment management firm. We're a big active shop. Is this a way for us to enter the market too? And so we had launched a short duration fixed income product a few years back. It's been successful. It's gathered almost 200 in assets. And we thought, you know, this is a good starting point for us. We just followed up with a low volatility U.S. product and a investment grade corporate product that we think is going to be, you know, a real differentiator, especially in the fixed income space where active management really gives you a lot more leeway than perhaps on just the equity side where um, the indices are so well defined and commonly owned. It's a little bit harder to do that in the fixed income space and we thought there's really, really an opportunity for fixed income. Absolutely. So your viewpoint with the, the Fed and what might be coming down the road, you're feeling active strategies, especially in fixed income, are where a lot of advisors need to be looking? Uh, definitely, we think so. And we just think the implementation makes it so much more successful. Yeah. Trading costs, um, and you look at, biggest thing for us on the fixed income side is being able to do credit analysis, and not just not own stuff that we think doesn't necessarily make sense, yeah. but also sometimes buy outside of the benchmark to yeah. find opportunity. Final question, so you have worked with a lot of advisors over the years, a lot of advisors have worked pretty much solely with mutual funds. Mm -hmm. How are you finding advisors embracing ETFs that maybe haven't before? Is it happening? In some cases, right? Yeah. And not always. Yeah. ETFs are a little bit harder to implement in a 401k plan. Yeah. Um, and a little bit is probably not the right word. A lot harder. Yeah. Um, so guys have done a lot of 401k business. It's been harder for them. Some advisors are just comfortable with the mutual fund space. Yeah. But we're finding that there's interest, particularly for guys that really want to take advantage of that sort of day-to-day -day or minute-to-minute execution, um, mm -hmm. that's a big thing. And then there's some tax advantages in some cases for the equity ones um, that's very attractive to people. That's right, so just make it, uh, make sure we get this right. Liberty Shares, correct? Liberty Shares, All Franklin right. Liberty Shares. And if we can go to libertyshares.com, is that right? That is perfect. People can find out more about it. Yes. Excellent, Pierre, great seeing hey, you. Thanks, thanks Tom, so much. appreciate it. Best of luck. Thank you.